Hello guys, in this video I will be showing you how we can set up MySQL without any installation in any operating system and so currently I am using Linux Mint operating system uh, in my uh, computer and this procedure can be applicable for any other Linux distributions as well and at the end I will be showing you how we can set up uh, for Windows operating system as well uh, and which will be very simple ok so first of all we may need to download uh, the uh, mysql archive file uh, setup file so for that you may need to google like mysql uh, download archives okay. so click on the first link okay here you may need to click on mysql community server okay. so here product version will be the latest one so if you want a specific version you can select it here and uh, operating system will be Linux generic so if you want to download for Ubuntu Linux or Debian Linux you can go ahead and down select it here so I will be selecting Linux generic only and the operating version will be uh, all so it will list all the available downloads ok so on here we have uh, for our Linux generic we have multiple ok multiple downloads okay but we, we we are will be selecting one out of these two so because these are uh, test shoots only so we don't need them okay so in the in these two i will be selecting on the second one so th among these two there will there will be just minor difference only you can select the above one as well so i'll be selecting this one so say okay this so my internet speed is not that very good so and i have downloaded this file already so so let's use that file so here is my file so i let's just extract that file so for extracting i will be using command something like this actually this pv command will be used to uh, display the progress ok so extraction progress so if you want if you don't want to ex uh, display that you can directly uh, use the tar command so so that pv command will show the progress like this ok so it may take uh, about a minute uh, let's just wait for that ok you can see here the file extraction is completed so ok so let's just go inside uh, bin directory uh, first of all uh, we need to uh, instance uh, like initialize this mysql ok ok for that i will be going inside the bin and running this command mysql d hyphen hyphen initialize hyphen insecure the reason i am using insecure is so if you use uh, hyphen insecure so a root user will be created without any password so if you want a user with password with some uh, automatic generated password you can use just initialize which will work so i i will be using i don't want any password so i will be using insecure okay so it will take about 5 to 10 seconds for initialization yeah initialization completed now so uh, we just need to uh, start the mysql so for that uh, we need to start something like this mysql hyphen hyphen console ok mysql is started mysql d hyphen hyphen console ok so now let's just see if, if the database is accessible or not I find one more terminal I will be doing something like mysql fnu root enter yes so you can see mysql uh, we can see the mysql prompt here yeah so this way you can uh, set up the mysql now you can do whatever the operation you want uh, on, on your local mysql so I will be showing now for how we can set up for windows so for windows so you have to go to the same page and select 
Windows, Microsoft Windows option here. Yeah, so we'll be getting the two options here. So this is a test route which we don't need. This is the version we have to download. So let's just download it and the commands are exactly same. So extraction, you don't need the tor command. So Windows, you can just right click and then extract and then go inside the bin directory. Okay, so and then inside the bin directory, you can just use the command uh, mysql d hyphen uh, in initialize insecure and then uh, for the starting mysql you can use mysql d hyphen fn console so that's all so that's the procedure for windows windows operating system so i hope you like the uh, this one so yeah